hands. What a difficult thing to draw. Hey guys, welcome to Scanter Drawing. My name is Manuel and I'm back with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you how to draw hands. Hands are probably one of the most difficult things to draw in the human body, alongside feet, but hands are more difficult. Now, about 90% of artists struggle to draw hands, myself included, okay? If you haven't noticed, I hate to draw hands. Okay, I don't even notice in my videos, but I do try to avoid drawing hands as much as I can. Okay, I don't want to be an expert at drawing hands, but I don't want to be bad at drawing hands either. Okay, I want to be able to draw hands well when I need it. Okay, but I'm not 100% good at drawing hands. The number one tip that I would give you guys would be to study your hand. Now, a lot of people might be, wait, I have to study now? If you have a hard time drawing a certain thing, okay, it's probably because you haven't studied it enough. Now, hands, I think you have to study your hand if you want to be good at it, especially um, how complicated it is, all right? Okay, hands is probably one of the most difficult things to draw because of the different movements, different variations, different angles that you can see it. You can see it from the front, back, center. You can see it from all, all different angles. And that's pretty much the reason why it's so difficult to draw because it can make pretty much thousands of different variations of, of positions. Now, there are a lot of tutorials out there, okay, that probably will explain how to draw hands better than I do. I don't think I am qualified enough to, to teach you how to draw hands simply because I, I am not an expert at drawing hands, okay? I, I don't like drawing hands, but I do think I do have a couple tips that I could give you to be able to draw hands better. Okay, if you want to get better at drawing hands, the first thing that you have to do is, as I mentioned, you have to study your hand. Whenever you're free, okay, you can be in school, you can be in your house, you can do what, you can do whatever. Um, you know, just take a couple minutes to study your hands, okay? The position of your hands, the distance between each thing, okay? Like, how does the hand work? When you're with your friends and all that, you could be, you know, you could just be looking at your hands and be like, how, how do you work? A lot of people might think that you're crazy, all right? But between me and you, we know that you know you're 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 getting better. You're you're better than them, okay? <laughs> no, don't don't do that. Don't do that. But when you're free, okay? When you're in your house and stuff, you can just you know just take a couple minutes. Just look at your hand. Study your hand. How does the hand work? Another tip that I would give you guys would be to practice. I know a lot of people hate this word. But that's the only way you're gonna get better at any skill, okay? It really depends on how well you want to learn how to draw hands, okay? If you wanna be super committed, like if you're committed and say, I want to learn how to draw hands very, like really well, and you know, straight up practice all the time, you know, just make a lot of different drawings, okay? Draw hands. If you hate drawing hands, draw it until you stop hating it. That is how, how you're gonna get better at doing something, okay? Do it until you stop hating it. Now, I'm not good at drawing hands, okay? I don't wanna be, I, I, I'm not particularly um, interested in learning how to draw different kind of hands and all that, but a lot of people might be, okay? But if you wanna learn how to draw hands, and you're, you're passionate, well, I don't know why you'd be passionate about hands, but <laughs> I mean, there are a lot of people for different things, so. But if you're passionate about hands and you wanna learn how, to, how they work and stuff, what you, wanna, what you have to do is just study your hand and practice at drawing as many different positions as you can. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to draw a relaxed hand, okay? Not, not only a relaxed hand, also a fist, okay? You know, when you draw a full body, the hand that is pretty much on the side, that is the, the hand that a lot of people struggle to draw the most. But in each of them, I'm gonna teach you how to draw it from three different angles, okay? It will be the, the side angle, okay? Kind of the side, all right? Because you know, when you're standing, your hand is pretty much like this, okay? So that's kind of the, the side angle. And then sometimes the body might, you know, turn a little bit. That will be like a three quarter view. So your hand will, will turn a little bit as well okay now I'm gonna teach you how to draw that angle as well and then when you're kind of in profile okay your hand is pretty much you know facing front okay so I'm gonna teach you how to draw that as well so those are the three most common hand 
angles, okay, that, uh, that I think a lot of people struggle to draw the most. Let me know how many make more difficult hand uh, positions, okay, you know, tutorials on how to draw more difficult hands. So pretty much let's just get right into the tutorial. All right, so the first hand that I'm gonna be drawing is obviously the, the side view of a relaxed hand because that's the hand that a lot of people have trouble drawing the most, okay? Now, the first thing that I did here is obviously, the first thing I have to keep in mind is that the distance from, the, from, the, from here to here is pretty much the, the distance from the, the knuckles to the, to the um, last joint of the middle finger there, okay? Um, once you have that in mind, you can pretty much draw any hand, okay? So the, the, I, as you can see here, the next one, I pretty much did almost the same thing, okay? This one is a little bit more in three-quarter view, all right? For those of you who, are, um, who want to learn how to draw, um, you know, a relaxed hand but not completely straight, hopefully this, this hand will help you guys. So, the first thing that you, you want to do is obviously draw this part, all right? And once you've done drawn this kind of boxy shape of the of the of this section of the hand, what you want to do is draw an arc. All right. First, as you can see, the hand is um, there. The joints of each finger are not straight. Okay. As you can see, there's kind of a a an arc shape. Okay. Um, so that's some. That's pretty much the arc shape that I that I pretty much drew. But yeah, as you can see, the first thing that I did is obviously the, the beginning, okay, that, that pretty much chunk of the hand. And then, you know, cal kind of calculated a little bit, okay, went down and then pretty much the same distance is, is where the, the, the end of the joints, okay, of the, of the fingers start, okay. Uh, and pretty much, yeah, the last one um, is pretty much almost the same thing as the, the second one, okay, there isn't much difference. But one thing you want to Keep in mind is that you know one once you're kind of drawing the uh, the hand is that you know it's kind of like a glove. Okay, the first thing you want to simplify everything because you know you don't want to come, go right into the details right away. What you want to do is kind of draw the uh, the most com uh, the most simple things first and then kind of go right into the most complicated thing after. Okay, so the second one is um, okay. So the second one is is a fist all right because you know when when you're drawing a full body all right you want to also a lot of people might be want to draw a fist okay so the simplest way to draw this is just make a fist all right you can either wh what i do a lot of times is kind of do a fist like this and then take a picture and use that as a, as a reference all right so that's like that's way easier like you don't have to you know come up with it like straight from your head what you can do is use your own hand okay you have it like 24 7 right in front of you use it as a reference all right so the first one is obviously pretty simple all right um, I pretty much drew this part okay of the of the of the you know of the hand and then you know the the fingers it, it kind of is just a little bit like right at the bottom of that okay so the second one is obviously um, a little bit more through quarter view all right um, but one thing that, that I did keep in mind while I was drawing the, the fists was this part here, okay? That is kind of like something that a lot of people might um, not notice. That, that is something that you need to draw, okay? Once you're with the fist, okay, this part kind of comes out like this, okay? Um, but this part is kind of a little bit straight, uh, but not really. But um, as you can see here like this this part is pretty straight okay but this part kind of pops out a little bit so those are the kind of things that you want to keep in mind all right the, uh, little things um, while you're drawing your your hand okay just pretty much study your hand that's the easiest way like that's probably the only way you're gonna get better at it is to see how a, an original hand is and then study uh, and study the hand of you know from your from your own original hand. Okay, so one thing that you want to keep in mind about the fist is that the entirety of the fist is pretty much the the distance between the the wrist to to your your, your very knuckles. Okay, um, is pretty much this. Like if you're looking at it from like this, it's just this. So I, I think the fists are a little bit easier to draw, okay, because it's not as complicated. Um, one thing that you want to keep in mind is that, you know, once, because once you make like a fist, there, there are all these wrinkles coming out, okay? So that is one thing that you do want to keep in mind, all right? 
um, the wrinkles that the the fist makes, like the 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 finger, you know, once it's it's tucked in, it kind of wrinkles out a little bit. So it's something that you have to practice on. Is you know the the wrinkles do come out once you um you make a fist. All right, let me know what you guys think of this video. Okay, if this was helpful, please give this video a big thumbs up, guys. It really helps me a lot to know that. You guys are liking my video if if the 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 tips that i gave you guys in this video was helpful let me know okay let me know down in the comments below what you guys think i definitely think i am i am better at drawing hands like once i studied my hands for this video i definitely think i've improved at drawing hands so yeah thank you all for liking commenting sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye bye